Hello everyone, this is Paul from HiFiNet. Today, I will show you the BMW X3 E83 Android screen. I will talking about more details to show you how to track the car compatibility for this model. Okay, now let's go. This model is 10.25 inch display here. On the top, you can see the 4G SIM card slot. SD card slot. On the side, this is the built-in microphone. Here. On the back, this is the power connector, USB connector, RCI-in connector, 4G Wi-Fi antenna, a GPS antenna input. This is the video cable. Here. This is the power connector, power cable. GPS antenna and there's two USB cable external microphone in here iOS cable 4G Wi-Fi antenna the iDrive connector like this and the RCA connector the iDrive knob we offer that's only for left hand drive if your car is right hand drive you should show another iDrive knob here we also offer the wire diagram and installation instructions here. A quick guide to tell you how to make the setting. And also we offer installation menu like this. So you just step by step to follow this guide. Then it will be okay to install this unit. Here is the radio head unit, the original power cable here. If your car have the original display, it will have a video cable on the back of the original display. And that time, you need to connect the original video cable to this connector. Yeah. So this model don't have video cable, so I just take out the original power cable. And then connect the power cable to this connect okay. and then connect the new power cable to, to the back of the radio and connect the power cable here to the back of the display of course I connect the I try cable and see the power cable the I drive connected like this and then I need to connect the I drive connector this wire connector connect to the back of the I drive that's it and power on Please notice you need to connect the IUS cable. If not, it will no sound because the sound go through IUS. Make sure when you use the Android functions, there is IUS mode on the original radio head unit. Here. For example, we play a music. See? We have the sound, right? Okay. You can see the eye drive. The eye drive is working for Android screen. Yeah. Music. Yeah. Everything is fine. Uh, 
Dry dry is working, right? So now let me show you the main functions for this model. Navigation. You can install Google Maps, Waze, iGo, and many others. Uh, the weather is new functions for IDA menu. And this is the music. And car invent. If your car has original display, when you hit the car invent, it will get into the original car menu here. But another case is that if your car don't have original display, in that case, it will not get into the original display. Now, here, it has three colors like this. Here. And Bluetooth is the telephone. You can pair with your phone and have Bluetooth music. Also, you can download the contest from your phone. Here is the dashboard. The dashboard can show the weather. Also, can show the music playing on the back. Here is the speed. Here. Uh, oil level. Seatbelt fasten. Here. Uh, setting. There are different settings available here. And the video. Yeah. It also can add the icons to the home page. For example, I want to add the CarPlay to home page. Yeah. Now in this part, I want to show you how to connect the Apple CarPlay. This model built-in CarPlay. Now just go to the Bluetooth in your cell phone. Yeah. And you have to make a setting to end your Bluetooth. Yeah. We just connect this. See? Yeah. Yeah. Click it. Here. Allow. That way, it will go to the Apple CarPlay automatically. Use CarPlay. Then, you'll be fine. Here, you can see, I don't connect the USB. For Sorry. For iPhone, all of them is wireless connection. Don't need to connect the USB here. Now, with the CarPlay, you can use the music. Uh, that is totally touch screen here. Of course, you can control the iDrive here. And navigation. Here, yeah. search. I like to find KFC. You can see that is very smart for Siri. Here, yeah. okay, and you can use the telephone. Here, yeah. all the contests. You download to this unit. Telephone, music, map, and others, other functions like this. And when you hit the car icon, it will back to the Android side. Yeah. I hit the CarPlay. That will back to the Apple CarPlay menu right here. Now, in this part, I want to talk about car compatibility for this model. This model is for X3 E83. X3 E83, it has two models. The first one is have original display. In that case, you need to choose the model with a video cable like this. 
and when you install it, you need to connect the original video cable to this connector. That way, your original functions can work in the Android screen. This is the first thing you need to notice. And if your car don't have OEM display, just a storage in the dashboard. That way, you need to choose another model. That model without this video cable. This is the first thing you should notice. The second thing is the iDrive knob. You can see, this iDrive is special bracket. That is for left hand drive only. So, if your car is right hand drive, this bracket cannot install. You need to choose another iDrive knob. That is optional. We call Capsi iDrive knob. You can order from our website. Yeah. This is the second thing. And first, the most important is you need to notice some X3 E83 it don't have AUS, especially for the car made before 2005. In that case, you need to act the AUX first. If not, it will not work. There's no sound. As you can see here. In the connection, I connect the AUX cable from the power cable. It have a audio out, right? And I connect the AUX cable to the factory AUX jack here. You can check the factory AUX in the car. Only that it have the sound output. If you like this model, you can go to our website. Yeah, X3. Yeah. No OEM screen, choose this. With OEM screen, choose this. Yeah. Choose the storage. Yeah. And choose the installation here. There's a installation menu. This one. You can download the wire diagram. Yeah. 